Hello, y'all. Hello, my sadiddy girls, my itty bitty sadiddies. Yes, y'all. I'm on here because my friend James, he was asking me what type of soap to use, y'all. And he got, he has um nice, dark, uh, wonderful skin. So he got to asking me about goat milk syrup. Soap and y'all goat milk uh, soap. It's it's good for us. So I don't know what that was. I don't know if he's trying to up his ante. You know, if he's seeing someone, you know, I can care less. But you know, I gave him the tease. I don't mind. You know, telling people, um, you know, what I know. So what I am gonna tell him, I'm gonna send him this video. I'm gonna tell him to get this triple chlorophyll, ladies. This is beautiful for the skin because it keeps the skin supple. It's high in vitamin C, antioxidants. You know, it's a detoxifier, ladies. And gents, uh, y'all, um, I'm going to tell him to definitely get some of these pills because he's the only person that I knew, y'all. He could eat a clove of garlic, and he didn't smell like garlic, you know? His breath wouldn't smell like garlic, but um, I'm going to tell him to get some of these triple chlorophylls because he's like my sister. They not going to do that green juice. You know, they like their pork chops. They like their ribs. They like their chicken. You know, so I'm just going to tell him to definitely get this. And this is like a green juice, but you could take it in a pill other than drinking it. I like to take it uh, as a drink because, y'all, what it do, it goes directly into our bloodstream. So that's a better scenario for me. But for y'all that can't drink it, um, do the two pills a day of the triple chlorophyll. And this was from GNC, y'all. Um, oh, my gosh. I don't... I think this was eight some, y'all, but... I'm not for sure, but they be having um, good sales where I get my vitamins at. Um, GNC in the vitamin shop, y'all. So, yeah, this is some triple chlorophyll, or you can take the uh, organic wheatgrass, y'all. And both of those are good. They keep my skin pretty supple. Uh, you know, I have problem skin uh, with hormones, etc. but this, uh, it helps me a lot, y'all. And I told him to get the... Uh, this Shea Moisture Black Soap. Like I said, he have beautiful chocolate skin already, y'all. So I don't know if he's trying to impress somebody, you know, to up his little ante or whatever the scenario may be. But James, get this, um, this black soap, you know, get this and just wash your face with it. So yeah, y'all, let me see. What else did I have to talk about? Oh, y'all, married to medicine. Y'all, Miss Mariah, she said she gonna be giving face and face and fashion uh, this season. Uh, you know, she's a producer of Married to Medicine, and I love that show, y'all. It's those doctors. Uh, they're either a doctor or they're married to a doctor, and it's just called Married to Medicine. And y'all, I love that show. It, it's like number one. Housewives is getting ready to be off the hook, though. I think I saw Miss Jocelyn Hernandez. Um, gonna be on there. I don't know whether it was a video, but I think I think she's gonna be going um, Over there. Uh, hopefully she joined the cast because y'all already know I'm gonna be here for it for real for real because she know how to stir up a lot of uh, drama and she's really really beautiful. So um, Let me see what else is going on I went to my Facebook page y'all they still got that Laboner stuff up. I told Facebook, nobody's not trying to put their information in there. Um, in that little information, because when I was trying to uh, give money, it was asking me for my debit card and bank account and stuff. I don't know nobody that's checking for that scenario. Oh, and I got this on y'all because my hair was like real bunky. And this is a synthetic unit, girls. And it's getting old, like raggedy. But um, what you do if you have a synthetic unit, this is like close to two years old. But what you can do, you put it in fabric softener, darling, because synthetic is just fabric. So what I would usually do, 
is take my synthetic units off, ladies, and I'll just uh, comb it out real good, get rid of the straggly ends. We don't want to be walking around looking tacky, y'all. And just put it in a bag of downy. I liked it, the April Fresh downy. And y'all, I would tie it up. Sometime it'll be in there for weeks, y'all. But it lasts for like a year. And this is a synthetic unit. Um, and it looked toe up from the flow up now, y'all. But it was so, so beautiful when I first got it. Because I, I don't do the human hair. Because y'all... I don't know if these women are like tortured uh, for their hair. Um, I don't know if they're captured and like tortured for their hair. And for us to walk around with human hair, if someone was to get their hair cut off and it was devastation, you know, they were hurt in the process or even killed y'all, we be walking around with that energy, you know, and it's negative energy. and. I'm not checking for it, y'all. So, yes. And, um, Evelyn was in the bushes, y'all. Somebody had knocked her down, and she was coming out of the bushes like a kitty cat or a dog or something. She was trying to fight. They were running, y'all. First of all, I think they said Evelyn's 50. Um, Tammy, she used to be on The Real World. I think she's probably 47 or something. But, y'all, they was on there doing the most. They were on there acting like high school kids, y'all. You know, they, they were fighting, arguing, chasing after each other. And the next thing I knew, Evelyn was coming out of the bushes. She's such a bully. I don't like her. I'm not checking for her or Shawnee. Someone had called uh, Evelyn the B word, and she couldn't take it, y'all. She know how to dish it, but she can't take it. So, um... Yeah, that's what's going on. These uh, freeways are still closed in Cali. Let me see. It was something else that I wanted to talk about. Um, oh, for everybody with their birthday this month, uh, September and October and not November, I want to wish them a happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed birthday. And many, many more, y'all. For real, for real. Let me see. I caught Mariah on something this morning, and they were, <laughs> they were talking about Dr. Heavenly. Y'all, she be acting like her little uh, doctor, uh, her man. She called him daddy like he's everything, like he don't make no mistakes, y'all. They were saying her house was real nasty, y'all, and she needed to pressure wash it. Because I know back in the day when I was in Tennessee and I was watching it, they were saying something about she had a dental office, but it had got closed because of contamination. Y'all, I don't know. But they were talking about, you need to pressure wash this mother ucker. Somebody said that. I think it was, wait a minute, was it Toya? Was it Dr. J? Y'all, I don't know, but y'all, when y'all have that much money, when you're a doctor or, you know, you're married to a doctor, come on now. Y'all can hire, a, um, you know, someone to come and clean up. They said those walls was nasty, y'all. My mama made us wash walls. We literally had to wash wall. It was wall washing day. We just, we, we had to keep our, our residency up. And my mom instilled that in me. And to this day, you know, I'm not going to be dealing with no nasty place. And if y'all got kids and y'all up and able, y'all not, um, you know, disabled and bedroom, clean your house up. For real, for real. They be getting on these YouTube videos and social media and they house really be nasty. Like, Really? You know, clean your house up. You know, talking about, um, no, you know, I, I want a bigger place. God gonna bless me with a bigger place. And they say godliness is next, to, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. But how God gonna bless you with a new place when the place he already blessed you with is nasty and nobody's not checking for keeping it clean, y'all. Oh, so yeah, that's what's going on. Um, let me see what else is going on. Um, 
Yeah, they still got that Le Bonner thing up, uh, St. Jude for those, um, I think they had wanted me to get 200 Nobody's not checking for that, y'all. And I addressed that. I just told them to, you know, give, you know, definitely try to write a check if they can for Le Bonner and St. Jude. Nobody's not trying to put their credit card information on there because it's even things that I'd be wanting to get offline, uh, makeup and stuff. I'm not putting my information online. Now, and I do call up and order sometime, but when you got to put your uh, card in, in the little uh, information box online, y'all, I don't do that because like I said over and over again, I had identity theft and they took everything, everything. I lost my storage, my residence, my car, my car, everything, y'all. So I tr trust and believe I'm not trying to do those teas again. So, yes, let me see what time it is, y'all. And I'm not wearing no eyewear. It's 10.52. She is bringing the kids over today, but that's going to be later at about uh, 5. And then I think she want me to watch them about 8. But they're good. You know, they know how to sit down with their little devices and, and, and behave. They're, they're really sweet kids. I love children. And, yeah, Corey and Tara, because here my sister's up there watching the game. You know, she loved the game. She's a game fanatic. And like I said, do you, boo? Because she's not into none of the things that I'm into. And I'm not into none of the things she's into. And I remember my mom used to say, no, you guys are like night and day. And I would be looking at my mom like, but we both was in your stomach. You know, how can we be so different? You know, in those DNA traits and the bloodline. Y'all, that's for real. Because the stuff that's real important to me is not important to her. And the stuff that's real important to her, it's not important to me. But yes, y'all, let me get up and do your, give an outfit of the day. And like I said, I have this little thing on because I'm trying to flatten my hair. But I'm not really going nowhere, y'all. And I want to go outside, but I don't want to go out with this little ancient mime thing on my head, y'all. So yes, y'all, let me just give a little outfit of the day. I got these earrings on. I like them, y'all. I got them from Walmart, and they had a lot on them, a lot of diff, you know, a lot of different earrings, which which was cute to me, y'all. I don't know what this hair is looking like in the back, but I told y'all it's getting uh, it's getting real straggly, y'all. Wait a minute. Wait, let's let's go on and go outside. Hopefully, he's not out there, y'all. Hopefully the little person's not out there. Because y'all yeah, gone out there with this on. So I don't really have enough room. Um, I don't really have enough room to do it in there. Corey, are you getting ready to go somewhere? Okay, y'all. I got this little t-shirt on. Y'all know Walmart. Uh, I think $3.44. Really super cheap, y'all. Really super cheap. And I got these little shorts on. I didn't wear my booties. Uh, I got this little belt on. I got these earrings on, y'all. I got them from Walmart. And y'all... He's over there and looking, y'all. So I'm just going to go in here and do an outfit of the day, y'all. And I'm sorry. You know, I should have, uh, oh my gosh, let me put this coat in. Tarika! Let me try it again. Thanks, sweetie. Okay, yeah, y'all, he was out there and trying, you know, just looking, you know, probably think something is wrong with me because they be seeing me out there. And y'all, I be going to the mailbox looking crazy. I think he seen me last night going to the mailbox with my pajamas on, y'all. So that's probably why he was looking because he see what I be with my camera and, you know, modeling and stuff. So, yeah, y'all, I got this little Walmart belt on, these little Walmart, um, earrings on y'all these shorts these are the bigger shorts y'all wait let me uh let me move y'all over i don't have enough room because i'm so doggone ugh, oh my god it already went over 14 minutes y'all 
It's just about 15 minutes. And you know I can't go over 15 minutes, ladies. Love yourselves. Take care of yourself, ladies. Invest. Oh, 